what's up everyone, welcome back to Zenith Lifestyle. I'm Selby. I'm Glenn. Uh, today we're going to be going through the Coles catalogue and just seeing uh, all the foods that they've got to offer and seeing how much variety they've got in like the healthy section. And the, and the prices and just do a bit of an idea of prices and what they're selling and what's cheap, what's expensive mm. and why you're more inclined to buy the products that aren't good for you as opposed to the products that are good for you based on quality and pricing. Yep. Alright, well, let's jump into jump it. Jump into it. So the first example is, is this is not even out of the Coles catalogue, but we went looking for some coconut flakes. So we like to, if I can't get fresh coconuts, so we go out and we actually source fresh coconuts from the trees. If we can't get any and they're not at the markets, well, the next thing is we just get some yeah, the coconut, coconut flakes. flakes. Yeah. So I'm at the shops looking through the coconut flakes and there's a couple of different varieties there and one was six dollars. Fifty or six dollars ninety-five, what it was. Said, oh yeah, you know that's all right. Then I look at the one below it. Yeah. And it's it's a dollar cheaper for the same amount. Yeah, it's a dollar cheaper. I'll save some money. But then, what was the deal selling? Well, the one that was actually a dollar cheaper had, uh, like the coconut flakes that were the standard price were just coconut flakes and ingredients. But when we went down to the dollar cheaper, it had added salt. What else did it have? It had um. Oil. Oil. Salt and oil added to what's supposed to just be coconut flakes. So why would we add salt and oil to coconut flakes? I don't know. Clearly they're not in the coconut when I get it off the tree. Th th these are added because they are what make you eat more. The salt makes you want to eat more. The oil is just extra calories. For some reason you must decide you need the taste of the oil of the coconut flakes. So the bizarre thing is we're talking about a 100% pure product is dearer than the product yeah. with extra ingredients. Yeah. Now, if you want to try and work that out, the one that's cheaper, they're really going to sell more in the long run because it's cheaper and people are going to want that because you're getting that taste of salt. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be an addictive, addictive taste, so they're going to buy that, that product more. That's right. So they're using science to make you buy that product and they can add those ingredients and sell it cheaper when it should be dearer because they know that in the end they're going to sell more of that product. Exactly. And the oil is just an extra calorie which you just have no benefit for. Yeah. And so the one we ended up getting, you know, uh, organic coconut chips, I'm not saying that's what you should buy, but the ingredients, it's a, a list of just one. 100% coconut flakes, that's the only ingredient. That's really ultimately what we want, just the one ingredient, not, exactly. not a stack of ingredients. Oh, sure, if you're buying up a mix of menu of something, it might have more ingredients, but we want to uh, reduce those uh, sugars and the oils and the salts and mm -hmm. the, the additives and the yeah. flavorings and the whatever. Exactly. What do we want those for? Exactly. So what next, Sylvie? Um, why don't we jump into the Coles catalog and check out what they've got to offer? Yeah, so let's just have a look at the catalog and just get a quick idea of some things here. So, I brought up their online catalogue. Uh, this is this is February. This is whoops. This is February. Okay. Uh, so the first page, the first page is Tim Tams, chips, lollies, biscuits, fruit juice, Pepsi, some sort of chocolate things. That's page one. So. The first page on the catalog is all rubbish. All right. rubbish. Not not a single thing. There. So the Tim Tams is just chocolate and sugar and preservatives and additives, and you just don't go out to your garden and pull <laughs> out a Tim Tam. Sure don't. <laughs> but there it is. It's two packets for five bucks of just sugar, preservatives. Colours, flavourings, additives, nothing there is any good for yourself, not a thing. So the whole front, first catalogue, nothing. Second page, second page. Right. Same deal. Yep. So, same deal. Nothing there. So let's go to we'll go to another one. So that was a year old that catalogue, so we'll go to, to this this year, March 2017. 8th to the 14th. Okay, so they're top up. So we're on page 28 actually, because I was going through it. We'll go right back to page one. Let that light up, page one. Page one, what have we got? 
We have we got some Nutrigrain, we've got some dairy milk chocolate, we've got some big packs, 24 packs of soft drink. Pepsi, yeah, that's right. Um, what else have we got? Um, oh, and down down, meat, three stars. Look at Seven dollars for a pack of mints. But we don't even know what's added into that. So you can go and buy 24 cans of Pepsi or Solo or Swept Soft Drink, 24 by 375 mil cans for a dollar ten a litre. 42 cents per can. And what's in there? Sugar, salts, or or um, artificial flavours. Yeah. And it's so cheap, and it's it's got so many ingredients, and it's so cheap. The second page: popcorn, Mars bars, chocolates. Massive cans, mate, massive, 1, 1.25 litres of Coke. I'd hate to guess at how much sugar that is. You know, that's got to be like 50 teaspoons of sugar in there. Exactly. Plus the salt. And it's two bucks. Two dollars. Okay, so we just, you get the idea. We're going to flick right through the pages. I'll flick through the page up to page. Page 14 or 13. Page 13, Selby, before yeah. we even get to what? Before we even get to our uh, fresh fruits or vegetables, and not even vegetables. No, we? no. We got apples, some mushrooms, some grapes, grapes, and some potatoes. So yeah, all good things. Page fourteen before you even get to that. And uh, what's after that? Do we have another list when we get to the next page? Okay, we'll go to the next page. Fifteen. We got. Um, I don't even know what it is. Avocados. That's it. One Chili two. chon av avocados with mints. So, you know. Next one. And then, so now we're just back into meats. Meats, meats, meats. So I basically went right through this catalogue, unless I've missed it, but I didn't even find a vegetable section. No. The whole catalogue was basically chocolates, lollies, biscuits, soft drinks, meat, and maybe two pages at the most with a few apples and potatoes on it. Exactly. So you wonder why people aren't even making the right food choices, and then you look at the items that they are mass producing and selling, are loaded with ingredients, all ingredients that are no good for you. Yeah. You know, so just realize they're targeting you to, to not buy the right stuff. So, you know, you go to Woolworths or Coles or whichever one you like, any, any of those big supermarket stores, if they've got this massive store full of equipment, uh, full of equipment, equipment so-called foods, why is it only one aisle called the health food aisle? Exactly. What's the rest of it, Selby? Yeah, well, if one aisle is called health food aisle, clearly you don't need the rest of the stuff. Now, the only other section that should be in, and should be in it first, is the fruit and veg section, and then maybe hop over the health food aisle to find your coconut flakes or your plant milks. Yep. That's it. That's done. What else do you need out of there? Maybe some soap. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's exactly right. You've got so many aisles in there full of these soft drinks, these chips, these meats, none of which you need. No, none. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Yeah, well, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a bit, a bit laid back. We just wanted to show you what it's actually like when you try to see the targeting of advertising that's coming straight to us. It's clearly not the right choices. No, it, yeah, just, just have a look at the front page or jump to the front page. Coca-Cola and Mars bars. Yeah. True health food. Right, well, we'll see you next time. And just remember, if you don't care about your body's health now, it won't care, care about, about you later. later. See you guys. Thank you.